Hey, and Rod, obviously the topic tonight is the heat. What did you guys know and when did you know what about the air conditioning system failing here in San Antonio? Well, Michael, really, uh, sometime to, in the first quarter. I mean, you could. I'm sitting at midcourt in the second row, and I can feel, you know, I can feel that it got very warm. Uh, sometime in the first quarter, uh, we knew it was hot. Uh, there have been a lot of games played. Uh, I can remember old Boston Garden when uh, you know it was unbelievably hot. Old Chicago Stadium uh, when it was. Uh, once the game starts, the the, the uh, it's in the hands of the referees. If something, if the referees felt the court was unsafe, uh, they would have come to midcourt, talked to me about it. Uh, you didn't see people slipping. Uh, there was, was that to determine if the floor was dry, so therefore the floor you were was dry, playing? and therefore, uh, and therefore, uh, you know, things happen, you know, in sporting events and live sporting events. Sometimes things happen, and in this case, the air conditioner went out. Uh, it was the same for both teams. You know, both teams are playing under the same conditions. Did the coach complain to you? Uh, neither coach complained uh, at all. Uh, you know, regarding it, uh, it's unfortunate. Obviously, that you know that it happened, but uh, uh, the court was safe, and, uh, and therefore we continued the game. You mentioned playing in all those arenas. I know you were actually involved in some of those <laughs> games, particularly Boston and Chicago. Right. But when the league's marquee player, LeBron James, can't continue, yeah. people are going to talk all day tomorrow about how it disproportionately affected this game. Rod, what do you say to them? Well, uh, you know, LeBron obviously had to leave the game in the fourth quarter with the game still in the balance. Uh, you know, a second-grade player that obviously when a player of that ilk leaves the game, uh, you know, it, it certainly affects the game. But, again, uh, uh, both teams were playing under the same conditions. The floor was safe. You know, there was nothing wrong with the floor. And, uh, you know, we played under these conditions before. Last question. Sunday, game two, Sunday evening got the extra day in this series with an off day. I would think you would expect this arena to be cool by Sunday's game too, but is there something bigger wrong right now? Have you obviously you've been talking to building officials. What do they expect for Sunday? Uh, they expect everything to be perfect come Sunday. And, and that's what we expect to. Okay. A lot less drama then on Sunday. <laughs> if this place is cool and dry, Rod Thorne, thanks for joining us. Thank you.